If I got a big gig, maybe Kim Davis would like me. You like Kim Davis? Ever since she handed me my glasses, after Bob Daly nailed me in the face with a snowball, I just looked up and there she was holding them like an angel. Let me tell you something about girls like Kim Davis. The guys they normally go out with are shallow, pretty boys. I don't have a chance then. I'm not shallow. Maybe I can help. As a former perf, I can tell you about her. She sees you as a pencil necked geek who she can never like. But the problem is, the guys she does like aren't even smart enough to pay attention to the things she really cares about. I get what you're saying. So, what does Kim Davis like? All she seems to talk about is her stupid chihuahua. Got it, thanks! Hey, Kim. What do you want? Did you know that the Aztecs thought the chihuahua was a sacred animal? And also, out of all the other dog breeds, they have the largest brains. And despite their size, you know, like me, they can be pretty fierce, loyal, and loving. That's right, baby. You're looking at the total package. Do you maybe want to go get some frozen yogurt? Yeah! Good morning, cousin! This is so exciting! Are you excited? I'm excited! I was excited about eating my breakfast in peace and quiet, but sure, this is great too. Aren't you supposed to be the laid-back California cousin? Are you kidding me? This is me laid-back! Ah! <laughs> Could we maybe keep the screaming down to a minimum? Of course we can, silly. I'm just so darn excited. What are you excited about? I've lived the first 10 years of my life as an only child. Playing solitaire, talking to myself, playing cello for my imaginary friends Puff Puff and Slipper. But that's all behind us now that you're here. Are you a cartoon character? Ooh, a cousin jab. Sick burn. That was actually a truthful question. You're like Dora the Explorer Drake, three Red Bulls. I love this. We're teasing and bonding. I'm so glad you destroyed your house. Jabbed you back. Yep, so glad that our house burned down. And now I live with my 10-year-old cousin in California and can't get five minutes to myself. Don't think of me as your California cousin. Think of me as your spunky West Coast counselor for Camp California. Could we maybe think of you like that in like half an hour after we've had breakfast? Come on, cuz. There's only precious little time until your house is rebuilt. Now grab your flip-flops and set some adventure and let's hit that beach! But I'm hungry! Come on! Oh, no! Party's gonna be the who's who of the high school social elite. That's why. That's why we're not invited. Let's not worry about that right now. Let's worry about what we're gonna say when we're hanging out with three different captains of three different varsity sports. <laughs> I like kites. That's a sport I could talk about that. Mm, yeah. So no kites. No. Um, let's try a role play exercise, okay? I'll be me to make Daniels, and you'll be a much version of you. Hey Belinda, how are you doing? I know we're not invited, but Dawn said there's going to be a lot of people here that you wouldn't notice, and I promise I won't steal anything. Do you have any finger sandwiches? Let's try that again. Good call. I totally forgot to talk about kites. You know what? Why don't you let me do all the talking, okay? Oh, thank goodness. Whatever, let's go. Hi, I'm Cece. Nice to meet you. I'm James, and I know who you are. Remember first grade when I helped you with the scissors? And second grade when I helped you with the scissors? And third grade when you were banned from using scissors? You're in the wrong room. This is honors history. Oh, so you're the patronizing smart guy who gets to decide who belongs here. 
Well, luckily, there were no scissor questions on that aptitude test. I scored higher than who? Oh, that's right, you and the rest of the class. How'd you do it? Bubble in the answers in the shape of a smiley face? Why does everyone think that? I, I mean, no. Hey, everyone, look. Cece somehow found her way back into the classroom. What'd you do? We could show lip gloss? <laughs> <laughs> no. I used the Find the Biggest Jerk in School app, and it led me right here to you. Ooh. Look, I don't know what you pulled to get into this class, but we both know you're not smart enough to cut it, sweetheart. So why don't you save yourself the embarrassment of failing even harder than usual and just get out now? You know, if you're smart enough to actually open the door. Here's a hint. You push. So, the day I make Cedarville history. That's what you said before your last six attempts. Yeah, but this time, it's different. You also said that, and then you face planted. I told you, I didn't face plant. I aborted the jump. Onto your face? I need to slow the bike down somehow. You think it'll hold? Let's see. Old duct tape on a hot engine, not a chance. Good enough for me. What's that for? The fire cannons. You installed fire cannons? And it's not even my birthday? I was feeling generous. And they're good, the cannons. The crowd will be able to see the flames. They're fueled by an 86 gallon of RDX and nitro thing. I don't know what that means, but it sounds awesome. You're gonna get a pick, right? You think I missed a chance to capture you doing something this dumb? And you don't understand? It's a good try. Good side. Your good side. Trick question. I don't have a good side. They're both great. So that's engine mount. Check. Fire cannons. Check. A totally awesome plan that'll bring me glory, girls, and hopefully another 500 YouTube subscribers. Check. And last but not least, my lucky flip flops. With these babies on, there's no way I'm missing that jump. You already have six times. Exactly. And seven is my lucky number. It is? We're about to find out. Rolling and action! promised to run that night. The game was over. I went back to London. I just, I couldn't stop thinking about you. About how good you have it. About how much your friends love you. It's just driving me mad and well, when it started happening. You see, the plan was to be you. Along with Ren. 
no matter what I did, he just kept thinking of me as Alex. I just, I didn't want to be her anymore. So you broke up with him? No! How I could never do that? But he is always close by. Turn his ashes into an eternity stone. His diamonds last forever. I'm sorry, I've got to go get ready. Um, how are we planning to wear your hair for the big wedding? You know what? Don't worry about it. I'll figure it out. Sports. I like kites. That's a sport. I could talk about that. No. So no kites. Oh, let's do a little role playing exercise. I'll be Mandy McDaniel's, and you'll be a cooler version of you. Got it? Got it. Hey, Linda. How are you doing? I know we're not invited, but don't say there'd be so many people here that you wouldn't notice. And I promise I won't steal anything. And do you have any favorite sandwiches? Okay, let's try that again. I totally forgot to talk about kites. You know what? Why don't you just let me do all the talking? <sighs> Same thing. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Jessica? Tim, hey. Where have you been? It's a long story. I mean, one day you stop showing up for school and then the next day you vanish. I mean, I heard the rumors. You, you moved, you, you got sick. There was an emergency. Are you okay? I mean, you look okay. You look great, actually. Um, <laughs> so everything's all right, though? Yeah, I'm fine. Good. So you coming back to school? Maybe. What have I missed? Everything? Nothing. It's all kind of the same. You, uh, could have texted me. At least. So is Mr. Beach still as lame as ever? <laughs> Lamer, it's possible. Yesterday he spent the entire class reading Midsummer Night's Dream out loud and laughing at all of the funny parts. <laughs> so I saw you with Wendy earlier. Yeah, yeah, you know, she's she's cool. Um, not really into music, though. And I can't talk to her, not like I can talk to you. I miss seeing you, hearing you play. You don't have to, Jessica. Here, let me play you something. Come on. I've been working on it for weeks. Mm -hmm. These switches do. <laughs> this is my guitar, so. Yeah. Borrowed it. Found them in the junkyard. That was a lie. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Let that, let that simmer. Let me start again. There you go. Okay. Look at me. Smile and stay still. Hey guys, 
Do y'all smell something? Did somebody pee themselves? <laughs> <laughs> that skirt's getting a little snug on you. I've still got more badges than you, so why don't you pour yourself into a big old glass of hush up? I think you look real nice, Randall. You look, you look real brave. You look like an intergalactic warrior. Don't recall asking you anything, bedwetter. I'm not a bedwetter. Yeah, huh? A month to Jamboree, and I think I'm getting fat. What's Jamboree? It's a Girl Scout competition of the very best of the best. You'll never know about it. I don't want to be a Girl Scout anyways. Who wants to hold hands and sing songs? Not me. The grand prize this year is stupid. A golden record? Like the golden record? Go run into trees, bedwetter. And the price you get is a golden record? What's it to you? I have to go to the bathroom. Not until I say you can. I want to go to Jamboree. You're not invited. You just said you don't want to be a Girl Scout. I didn't know the prize you get. I thought it was just trophies. <laughs> just trophies? Listen to you. You can never be a Girl Scout. You're ugly and you ain't never going to be nothing different. Why else mean to me? I don't know. It just feels right. I'm at the top and you're at the bottom. You know, that's just how we was made. Ginger? I changed my mind. I want to be a Girl Scout. I want to go to Jamboree. Hey, are you ready for curtain? No, I can't do it. Well, you don't have to. I'll get the curtain. No, I mean, I can't do this. Be in the play. But you're the star of the show. Well, who made that stupid decision? You did. Remember, there were 20 other girls who wanted your role, and so we were going to hold auditions, but you told us that you were just born to play the part, so we gave it to you. Then why did you listen to me? Because you were threatening to have your mom sue us. Oh, right. I can't believe you fell for that. She would never do well, you had us convinced. That's how good of an actress you are. Well, I can't act if I'm bombing, which I'm about to do. Better buy a property like that. Sure. <laughs> Is it the stage fright or the roadkill croquettes we have for dinner? Stage fright? Those croquettes were surprisingly good, though. Right? It's the gravy that makes them. I always feel sick right before a performance. <laughs> then why do you keep acting? I love it so much. It's that kind of problem. And how do you usually get over stage fright? Do you picture the audience in their underwear? No, of course. There's boys out there. That's the thing about their underwears. Right. Sorry. I need my mom. She always tells me I'm the best actress in the world and that everyone should be honored just to bask in the glow of my shining star. Makes sense. But she's not here, so I'm out. Wait, 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 wait. Look. I don't know if you're the greatest actress in the world with Meryl Streep and Reba McIntyre in the world, but I know that you've worked hard in this role and you know your stuff, so get out there and show them how it's done. So, I'm not the best actress in the world? That's all you got out of that? No, I also heard that you think I'm great and hardworking and that I taught you everything you know. Not everything. And that you don't become the best by quitting. I didn't say that, but it's true. So, what I need to do is step up there and choke back his vomit, and the show must go on. Curtain and move. And she's back. I have a brilliant, beyond brilliant idea. I am a genius. And listen, you are related to a bona fide genius. What are you raving about? You want to know what Dad is like, right? I was just daydreaming about sitting on the front porch with him. And I am dying to meet Mom. So what I'm thinking is, oh my, this is so brilliant and scary. Whew. What is it? I think we're different places. When the camp's over, I go back to London as you, and you go back to California as me. Come on, we can pull it off. We're twins, aren't we? We're twins, all right. 
from different countries with different accents, different hairstyles, different vocabulary, different everything. Hallie, we are totally and completely 100% different. So, what's the problem? I'll teach you to be me and you teach me to be you. I don't know. Come on, I have got to meet my mom. Well, the truth is, sooner or later, they're going to have to unswitch us. And when they do, they'll have to meet again. Face to face after all these years. I told you I'm brilliant. <laughs> <laughs>